On this cold winter day, the search for a father is over. After a trip halfway around the world, a split family honored their common link today, a World War II veteran from Evansville. Eyewitness News' Miranda Meister is live at Oak Hill Cemetery with more on this. Miranda? Brad, two Frenchmen came to Evansville to meet the family that they never got to know. Clarence Hill was a World War II veteran who spent some time in France. He there met a woman and later got married and had a baby, a baby he never got to meet. But today, his son got to see where his father is buried. Starting only with a name and a piece of paper, a French father and his son tracked down the family of a man they never got to meet. Jack Hill is the son of Clarence Hill and doesn't speak English. His son Eddie is translating for him. Jack says his mother didn't tell him much about his dad. So she didn't really tell him any more than that. She just said, uh, you can keep that as a, as a souvenir, as a memory and of, uh, you know, this is, this is a document to do with your dad. So years later, when Eddie was older, he passed that paper along to him and the search began. Uh, I was really determined to find out more about my grandfather. Uh, I knew that we had, uh, we had an American last name and uh, there was very little explanation. And I was maybe the most keen to uh, find out w w where our family was. Jack and Eddie say they remember the first time they saw Clarence's gravesite and the first time they saw an actual photo of him. So when he saw the photograph that uh, I had sent, sent him, which came from, uh, from, from his sister, um, he was shocked and thought, but, but that's me. It felt like a photoshopped version of him. After all the work and traveling across the world, Jack got the chance to honor his father, who was a hero, taking back to France with him a folded flag and memories from the time spent with new family. And it's, uh, it's so amazing to think that we're, we're all together now and uh, we, we know who, you know, we've, we've met and we, we can spend time together. The Hills say that their family extends past Evansville even, that Clarence had a daughter who now lives in Bloomington. They say that they plan on going and meeting her also. Reporting live in Evansville, Miranda Meister, Eyewitness News.